wait for everybody to come in. <laughs> hey, y'all that are watching this after it's not live. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm filming from the living room today. I was afraid um, being in the kitchen would echo and wake up Anna Claire, so I thought I would uh, go live in here. So I'm sitting in my recliner. Hey, how are you? We're about 15 more seconds. We'll be in a minute. And then I'll um, do my uh, openings. I think I'm going to open the Christmas cards first. All right, now everybody's getting notifications. And we're at a minute. So I hope y'all are doing well this Wednesday. Hey, Sandra, how are you? I finally went and got my hair done. I feel so much better. <laughs> I was looking rough. So I feel a lot better having my, my hair done and actually did my makeup and everything. Hey, how are you? Hey, Mama Jones. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Okay, the first one is going to be from um, the Utes. Thank you, June. You know, the um, if y'all have not checked out their channel, you should check them out. Um, two Utes Transplanted. Um, they do some really cute. Thank you, Myra. They do some really cute uh, DIYs and stuff. Like crafts. Oh, no. I was hoping he was starting to do better. A son is born. This is really pretty. Oh wow! What what do they do for for that? I know that's bad. I know blood clots anywhere is bad. Oh, they have such pretty handwriting. May you enjoy a blessed and peaceful Christmas and a joyous New Year. Merry Christmas, love, Mary and Kelly. Such pretty handwriting. My handwriting, I have to apologize y'all that get cards from me. My handwriting has gotten horrible over the past few years. I have um, carpal tunnel, so my handwriting has gotten really, really bad. Okay, I'm not sure. The next one is from Macon, Georgia. It doesn't have a return address on it, so I'm not sure. This might be someone I had already sent them one. We'll have to wait. Yeah, um, everyone who's not in here live, y'all pray for um, Cheryl's boyfriend. He is in the hospital. He um, he he fell, and um, he's got right now he's got blood clots in his lungs, and I think he's got uh, Cheryl. What all do they have? They had to put stents in the groin area and both legs and had to put on blood thinner then start bleeding out oh wow so y'all be praying for cheryl's boyfriend he is not doing very well right now he is in icu so y'all remember god knows the need you all just say cheryl's boyfriend and uh, god will know who you're talking about i know people go back and watch these um streams and they don't know they didn't get to really see everything that was said so they don't know what's going on so i just want to make sure i i tell y'all what's going on because i know y'all can't read the comments may his love fill you with peace and joy this christmas it's really pretty with a um church i love this this is so pretty with the little um charles dickens type dress they have a uh, clothing on from my i always call it the charles dickens I'm not sure if that's the Victorian time period or I'm not, I love history, but I'm not good with like time periods. And um, on the back, it's got the snowflakes. I'm, I'm hoping that whatever they're doing, I'm, I'm hoping that it will fix it and, and get him better. Wishing you the love, peace, and happiness that the true meaning of Christmas brings from Sandy. Enjoy your Christmas. And she enjoys my craft ideas. So, it's really sweet. So, thank you, Sandy. And uh, thank you, Mary and Kelly. I think I forgot to tell y'all thank you. Okay, and this is from uh, Marmara Martinez. Um, 
Miranda, and I'm not going to try to say Miranda's last name. Because, again, I have that southern twang and I just mess up names. I butcher names. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, let me cover up. Well, I don't have to cover up mine because mine's a P.O. box. Let me cover hers up. Got a little hot cocoa and some um, washi tape. It's really cute. And then on the back, it's really cute. I love that uh, the plaid uh, washi tape. Oh, if I can get into it. Sometimes these envelopes don't want to let the cards out. It says joy, and it has... Um, Hold on a second. There's stuff in there. I don't want to let it fall out. It has a snowman and a little uh, Rudolph since it's got a little red nose. And it's got some stickers in here. And these. These are really cute. I've never seen any like this. If I can get a hold of them. And she wrote a note in here, and um, I know some people don't don't like for you to read the long notes. But the card itself says, May the warmth and joy of the holidays bring you happiness throughout the new year. She wrote a very, very sweet note in here, though. But thank you, Mama Martinez. And guys, again, I apologize. I need to, next year when I do Christmas cards, I'm going to try to go through and write all y'all personal notes. Just with, with my health problems and stuff, my health problems kind of came up after I had already decided to do Christmas cards. And then I just to get them done, I just signed my name. And I, I should have at least signed my whole family's name. So that was very rude of me not to do that. So I apologize that y'all got the Christmas cards and it, all it does is just say my name. Next year, I will try to do better. Okay, um, the next one is from um, Mary Christofferson. And I hope I said your name right. I, I'm hanging in there. I feel a lot better. Um, I'm still kind of hurting, like cramping and having issues like that. But I'm a lot better than I was. I still don't have 100% my energy. Um, if it wasn't for my mom, my house would be horrible. She comes down every now and then and tries to kind of help catch me up. But I'm just looking forward to getting the surgery done. And hopefully after I have the surgery, I'll get my energy back and, and feel better. But thank you for asking. Okay, this is from from Miss Mary Christofferson, and um, it's got the cute little bike. I love that. That is so cute. And uh, little holly berries. And then on the back, it's got stickers, too. It's got uh, the wreath and the uh, trees, and it says, uh, Holly Jolly Christmas. Let's see if I can get into it. I really need to get me one of those letter openers. I'm trying to do it without ripping into the stickers. It's the most wonderful time of year. Oh, he's out of ICU now. One of the big blood, blood clots was so big, Angela, that it's pressing up against the right side of his heart. Oh, Lord. So that's what made him black out on, on the bathroom, black out in the bathroom last Friday morning. So that's what's happening, guys. Um, Cheryl's boyfriend, he is out of the ICU now. But he had a blood clot so big that it was pressing against the right side of his heart. And it made him black out on Friday morning. So he's been in the hospital since Friday morning. He blacked out. So again, that's an update on, on um, him. And remember him in, his, in your prayers. This card is um, it's the most wonderful time of the year. This is so cute. I love this. This reminds me of, we just watched it last night, the Griswold Family Christmas. Well, it's... I really think National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation should be called the Griswold Family Christmas. I always want to call it that. But anyway, we watched it last night. Laughed our heads off. Um, Paris and Grayson watched it for the first time. I know it has some language in it, but it's still a hilarious movie. Yes, all the prayers, and, and prayer does help. Like I said in my video the other day, I believe in the power of prayer. Um, a few years back, my dad 
he went to, and I, I'm probably going to tell the story wrong because I can't remember the whole details, but it seems like the eye doctor saw a tumor or something in my dad's like brain. And um, when he went to go get it checked out more, it was gone. So God took that away. I mean, the doctor saw it. I, I think, I think Mama even said that somehow the doctor had showed her. I don't remember the whole details because it's been years and years ago. I might have to get Mama to, to tell me again. But um, but yeah, I mean, there is miracles performed every day. God does do miracles. All we have to do is believe in Him and and just leave everything. Just pray and leave everything in His hands. Yeah, I mean, there, there, and there's miracles every day, even small little miracles that we don't want to call the miracles, but they really are. I mean, he does. He still, he still is doing miracles. She's got some goodies in here. Let me take them out. The card says, may beautiful moments and happy memories surround you with joy this Christmas. Okay, I don't think she would mind me reading this. May you and your family have a wonderful Christmas. You are so sweet. Happy to know you through YouTube. Hugs, Mary. So thank you, Mary. And let me see, show you all the goodies she sent me. This says Jolly. That is so, so cute. I love that. Ah, it's a mason jar. I love mason jars. Spreading Christmas cheer. That is so cute. And it's a recipe card. See, it says time, recipe, to and from these will be good to put on um like if you do like hot cocoa or, or something make make something like in a mason jar that's what these are would be good for and that, that might be what they're for uh let it snow little tag that is so cute i gotta wrap my kids presents so i might use this on one of them and then i've got those other tags uh, mama martinez sent me she sent me um sometimes i'll call sleighs sleds and i'll call sleds a sleigh but it's a sleigh. It's not a sled. And a snowflake. So those will come in handy wrapping gifts. I need to do that. Because Grayson keeps saying, where are you wrapping gifts, Mom? Where are you wrapping gifts? If I don't want to wrap them too soon, because I feel like Anna Clear will just rip into them and then I'll have to rewrap them anyway. Okay, this next one is from um, Janet Beard. Again, I've got to get me a letter opener. Do they still make those? I mean, I guess I could just use a knife. Most people probably use knives. I know my mom and dad have got one that's like a bronze color, and it looks like a knight holding a sword. They've had that thing ever since I can remember. Oh, this is pretty. It's um, got glitter on it so you can feel it. It's got a Christmas tree and uh, snowflakes and a little blue bird. That's real pretty. Oh, and on the back, it's got the little star and bluebird. Warmest wishes for a very Merry Christmas. Love to all of you this season and into the new year. Janet Baird. So, thank you. Thank you, Janet. Okay, let me read again. Cheryl says it was so serious that the doctor said if he would not... Hold on a second. If he would not have done the CT scan and found the clots that he would have died in a day or two. Oh, wow. I'm so glad that your doctor did that. It's And yes, praise be to Jesus for telling the doctor to do that. It's, it's so, I mean, it's hard to be in a hospital any time of year, but especially during the holiday season. Okay, this next one is from uh, Felicia Smith. And it's got a little uh, sticker on the side that says Christmas wishes. And this says Merry Christmas. And it's really pretty. It's uh, got glitter on it. You can, I don't know if you can see the glitter, but it's a really pretty tree. And she's got a little um, holly bear sticker up there. May the wonder of the special season live in your heart always. Felicia Smith, Merry Christmas. So thank you, Felicia. So that is it for the Christmas cards for today. 
And um, I only get to go about once a week to, to check my P.O. box. So if any of y'all have sent Christmas cards, like if I actually get some tomorrow, I probably, I don't know when I'll get to check it again. Usually on Fridays or Saturdays is when I get around to checking the P.O. box. So I apologize for any of y'all who probably those have been sitting in there since last sun or since this past Sunday. So anybody that is like, wow, it took you forever. I'm sorry, but yeah, about once a week is when I go. Um, Miss Donna Jackson from Crafts and More with Donna Jackson was so sweet enough. I was having problems finding the Bolero, and she had um, she bought me a bunch of Bolero, and then um, one of her friends passed away, and um, so I'm really sorry about that, Donna. Um, you have my deep, deepest sympathy. I I am not good with with what to say when somebody passes away, but I, but I am very sorry to hear about that, Donna. Okay, thank you. And like I said, I will try again maybe Saturday or something. Oh, guys, guess what we're going to do? I'm, I probably won't video it, but I'll show y'all if I get anything. Guess what we're going to try to do Sunday night? We're going to try to go dumpster diving. I never, ever thought in a million years that I would go dumpster diving. But I've been watching all these dumpster diving videos, and I'm like, I kind of want to go and try. I don't know if I will like it, but we're going to find out. Grayson's really excited. He's like, can we go to GameStop? I'm like, okay. So he's he wants to do GameStop, and then my niece, one of these days, um, I'm going to take her. So she really wants to go dumpster diving. I wanted to go to Ulta, but I've been looking on, I've been actually planning out my route, guys. Yeah, I, I researched stuff when I when I want to do something I really research it um the two Ultas sadly are in gates so I cannot unless one of them is kind of more on one of those box things so if I go and check it and they didn't lock it up since it's not locked it will be okay to access that but it's not illegal to dumpster dive unless there is a lock or it's or you have to jump a fence or something yeah I know I know I was not expecting me to say that ever but I'm like, you know what? I want to try it just once. I don't know if I will like it, but you never get no. I might go and find a bunch of stuff and be like, okay, I'm going to be dumpster diving now. <laughs> all right. So all this is Bolero. And thank you again, Donna. And y'all remember uh, Donna Jackson and y'all's in your prayers. Like I said, she lost a very close. Yes. Dumpster diving, Angela. She lost a very close friend of hers. Okay, so she, the first thing is the um, the apple cinnamon. It, all this is apple cinnamon. I bought vanilla stuff, but um, she found the apple cinnamon stuff for me. This is the hand wash. And I love Bolero. I know a lot of people at first, they were like, well, I don't understand what the hype is, but the pro every product I've tried of Bolero so far, I really love. She got me the body wash. I need to try out the body wash. I've been trying to finish up some, I've got a ton of Bath and Body Works body wash that my um, sister-in-law got me for my birthday. So I've been trying to finish up some of that, but I definitely need to try. I've heard good things about the body wash. And the, um, the body cream. And the oil, I love the oil. This, this oil is really good stuff. I really do like it. It's not, it's not oily or greasy. It's, it's really hard to explain, but, um, it's hot. It's very hydrating and moisturizing. That's what, that's what, oh, this one says rejuvenating. My, um, uh, the vanilla one, I think it says moisturizing. So this one says something different, rejuvenating. So I wonder if the formula maybe is a little bit different. It'd be interesting to see. And I love the facial wipes. These things are awesome. They're so soft. She sent me some extra goodies. Oh, this is so cute. You know, I saw this pen and I, I was close to getting it, but I did not get it. It's so cute. It is the Elf on the Shelf pen. Hey, how are you? I don't know if y'all can see them all. And it's one that's got the different colors. Thank you, Donna. These are extra goodies in here. I wish she's got a card in here. I'll read it in just a second. Oh, and yes, that is so cute. 
I have not seen these. I've seen people haul these, but it's Elf on the Shelf. I love it. Peace, love, and elves. That is so, so cute. I love that. Okay, now I'm going to read the card. I should have read the card first, but I didn't see, see the card. I didn't see the card till after. Oh, this is so pretty. Warm winter w wishes. Just wanted you to know. She made this. That is so pretty. I love that. I appreciate our new friendship. Merry Christmas, hugs and blessings, Donald Jackson. So thank you, Donna, again. That was so kind of you to do that. Her and I actually got to talk on the phone, guys. I was over, I was at my mom and dad's house, and um, and I thankfully had seen um, her message come up telling me to call her, so I called her, and we talked for a good 30 minutes and everything, so she's just so sweet, y'all. If, if y'all have... If y'all have not subscribed to Crafts with Donna and Donna Jackson, Crafts and More. Let me get her channel right. Crafts and More with Donna Jackson. Please do. Uh, she also does daily devotions. She does, of course, crafts. She does Dollar Tree hauls. She, um, she is just so sweet. So definitely, if you have not already subscribed to her, check her channel out. Let me go back and read all these comments. Yeah, it does. Um, I have, I have Dollar, I have Dollar Tree Trisha. I don't have Dollar Tree Trisha. I have dry skin really bad, like right here, which I've got uh, that foundation on right now, so it'd be hard for y'all to tell. But like right here, hey Kimberly, how are you doing? Thank you for watching all my videos, and welcome. I see you're a new subscriber. But yeah, um, I do. I love, I love that Valera oil. It's really good. And I've got a ton of it. So I'm, um, probably will try to put it in some of my giveaways. I'll share the Bolero love. Hey, Blue Eyed Jessie. How are you doing? And y'all check out Blue Eyed Jessie's channel too. I need to go through and see who all is in here that has channels. Y'all need to, uh, we need to support each other. Uh, Hillbilly Family... Hillbilly Fam Life. Y'all check out their channel. Subscribe to them. I'm trying to remember who all has channels. If y'all if y'all want me to shout out, uh, just comment and let me say, hey, I've got a channel. Oh, it's a it's a um like a little notebook. Um, Ellie Mae was asking me about the little notepad. I think it's like one of those like um the the hardcover journals. Let me open it. Thank you. Um, I used a lot of the stuff out of the uh, Ipsy. If y'all saw my Ipsy um unboxing, I used the lipstick. Now, I did use the Bitter Lip Liner from e.l.f., so it did change that lip shade a little bit. It gave it more red, because that lip shade does have more orange in it, but using the Bitter Lip Liner kind of changed it. I will use the fake eyelashes. I didn't want to use them going to get my hair done today, because I knew I'd have those um, foil and, and everything, and I, my hair would be in my face. So I do still will use those, but um, I'm just not using them right now. But definitely when I go out somewhere, I'll probably use the fake eyelashes. Okay, anyway, this is what, it's just like a little journal. That's what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fun. You'll have to uh, send me a picture, Ellie Mae, so, um, so I could do an Angela's gallery. Y'all need to send me some more uh, crafts. I know, I know, I know somebody is out there crafting besides Ellie Mae, and y'all need to send me some pictures. Thank you, Blue Eye Jesse.
Yeah, I, I'm sure it is Cheryl. And, and, and y'all pray for not only Cheryl's boyfriend, but y'all pray for peace for, for Cheryl to, to give her comfort in this time. Cause it's, it's, it is hard and scary when you don't know what's going on or what's happening. So um, pray for comfort for God to just lay his hands on Cheryl and uh, give her some comfort in this time. Thank you, Myra. I enjoy doing, I enjoy seeing y'all's craft. Oh, Diva, Donette, I'm Dills and Moore. I'm, I'm sure you're crafty. You just don't know it. <laughs> I'm not that, I, I know y'all think, oh yeah, yeah, you're good. I'm not that great at crafting either. I mean, I come up with stuff, but so, like y'all, y'all see, I, I have some failed DIYs. Y'all saw my, um, my temporaries. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now and it's just like, <laughs> it's supposed to be straight up and down, but it's starting to, um, uh, it's starting to look more like a swag or like a, um, a rainbow or something. Thank you. Um, hillbilly fam life. My, my mom's not good at doing fi uh, fake eyelashes either, but she, I gave her a pack to try. She actually did really well with them. So if you've tried them in the past, try them again and, and see you, you might can do them. Oh, Hey, uh, I'm going to, I know I'm going to butcher your channel name, but, uh, Diva Dinette deals and more. She's a new subby. If you, um, do, do you have a channel? I'll have to go, when we're done with this, if you have a channel, comment again so I can find your channel and then, um, okay, awesome. Whenever I'm done going live and it's just, we're streaming, comment so I can go subscribe to you also, but, and everybody else can subscribe also. That, that's good, Cheryl, that they, um, that they jumped and got with it. Blue Eye Jesse, I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to go through. Those of y'all who are watching this afterwards, I'm trying to go through. A lot of people have commented. So I'm going through reading comments right now. I know you are sitting there like, she's not saying anything. What's my new year resolution? Honestly, to just be happy, just to live life to the fullest and to be happy. I'm not wanting to lose weight. I'm, I'm just wanting to be happy with what I have and enjoy life. That, that's my New Year's resolution. Oh, yeah. We can, Kimberly, um... If you have not seen how I did, I did a video on me putting them on. I know most of the time people tell you to kind of have your eyes open when you put the eyelashes on, but I find it's better to close the eye that you're putting the eyelash on and then put them on, just for me. Oh, uh, y'all, Carol Schaefer's having a total knee replacement, so y'all remember her in prayers. Thank you, Blue Eye Jesse. Hey, Dollar Queen Lee. Yeah, it, that would definitely hurt, hurt hitting um, your eyes with the eyelashes. But yeah, I, I do. I just kind of, I just kind of close my eye and I use tweezers and I just kind of set the eyelash down on there and I start it in the center and press it and then I press it on this side and then I press it on this side. And I mean, not, don't squint your eye like that. Just kind of relax, close your eye. And if you have to, you can kind of do like this and lift it a little bit. But I find it's easier to not worry about getting glue or anything in your eye if you have your eye closed. Hey, Mary, how are you doing? I got your Christmas card. I'm sorry you you missed me open it. You'll have to go back and watch it, but thank you. Okay, thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, feel free to come back on, on this or any of my videos and give us all updates because I'm sure we all want to know how your boyfriend is doing. What 
are some of y'all that's that's a good question um what are some of y'all's new year's resolutions that's a good the good thing to ask y'all comment below and um let me know oh <laughs> okay awesome i'll have to go back and watch that what i do and the reason why i did not know i was subscribed to your channel when I get a new subscriber, I automatically um, check when I, I check through my email. And if I see that that subscriber makes videos, I subscribe to that person. And um, I don't always get to go actually check out the channel and watch the videos, but I at least subscribe back to you. And I do try to go through and, and catch up on people, people's videos as much as possible. Yeah, I do. I love the pro the these. Y'all could tell I'm right-handed. You see how these are looking, and these are those sassy and chic ones. I don't know why these did that. Usually, I don't have problems with the sassy and chic doing this. So if y'all have, if y'all get these sassy and chic before you put them on, put a clear coat and make sure it's dry and everything so it'll last longer. Bye, Cheryl. Praying that you have a more comforting day and. That Jesus is, well, Jesus is with you anyway, whether we pray that he's with you or not. Jesus is with you, and I know you know that. Oh, thank you, Carol. Yeah, I, I'm loving it. It feels so much lighter. Kimberly, are you trying to um, to buy a house right now? Or I know for New Year's resolution, you said to have a home. <clears throat> God bless you too, Cheryl. And yes, peace. Peace and comfort for Cheryl. Oh, you're building a home. Okay. I have never had to do that. So now I have been through my brothers getting their um, their houses built. And I know it, it can be tiresome. Any Dollar Tree food reviews? Mm, I'm planning on going to the Dollar Tree either Thursday or Friday. So if I see anything, is there anything out there that y'all want me to look for to give y'all a review on? Because y'all know I told y'all I will be a guinea pig. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It took me a while. You, you lost yours and, um, and Harvey. Is that, is that what you're saying? I'm sorry about that. That's, that's got a horrible losing everything. We, um, we, we have a, a friend who, well, we have, an, I have, I'll say she's an acquaintance. I have met her. I know who she is, but she's not necessarily friends. But anyway, we have an acquaintance that their house just burned. I don't know if it was last night or the night before. She, they just barely got out with their lives. Um, she had, a, she's got a dog that they got the dog out too. She's got a dog who was pregnant with puppies. So she tried to, uh, she turned the heater on because it was getting cold at night. And uh, somehow upstairs, like the attic space, it caught on fire. And then just basically the roof just caved in. It's a brick house. So the whole brick, all the brick thing, is, you know, the brick is still standing. But basically the roof just, of course, burnt and then it caved in on them. But they, she said she doesn't have anything with ID and she's having so much problems trying to, get something with ID and, and, and all that. But I, I'm sorry you lost your house, Kimberly. That, that is, I can't, I can't even imagine. I, I try to sometimes, like when I know, 
<laughs> like things like that happen. I try to think in my mind, okay, to be prepared, you know, what are some things I can I can do to be prepared? Like put put stuff in, which I don't know, a fireproof safe wouldn't help a flood, but that's good, Kimberly. That's good. That I mean, that is one thing about being a Christian, you know. Having the Lord on your side is just is a blessing, and it really can help you through the hardest times. He he does. He, I love that poem, uh, "Footprints in the Sand," and I I cannot quote it, but I love how you know it says, "Well, Lord, how come there are times when there was only one set of feet for you know feet print in the sand, footprints in the sand," and He says, "You know, it's in that time that I was carrying you." And it's true. He really does through our hard times. Sometimes we might not necessarily feel it. And, and we're, you know, we, we question, you know, what is going through. But we sometimes we can't see the big plan that God has for us. Uh, and, and that's why I really, I've learned not to worry. I'm like, God's got this. There's nothing I can physically do. I can pray and I'll leave it in God's hands. And he's got this. And, um, and I do, I have to tell myself, I cannot see, oh, bye, Diva. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm busy running my mouth. Bye, Diva, and Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, I want to find some of those space bags. I thought I had found um, one of them, like the ones that you like vacuum out. And it's just a really big bag, but I don't think it's one you can vacuum out. I did buy, buy some, but Brian's like, I don't think it's what you think it is. But, um, but anyway, yes, um, prayer and just believing in, in the Lord, is it really helps you through hard times. That's, that's exactly right. God has got something ba better. You just never know. Oh, I'm sorry, Kimberly. I was trying to figure out what you were talking about. For flood damage to put the stuff in the bags. I got what you're saying now. I I'm sorry. Sometimes things just go... That's why I dyed my hair blonde. I, you know, that way y'all know. But sometimes I can be a little bit airhead. <laughs> just, woo, I got you now. Yeah, in the case of a flood, uh, take things and put them in the big uh, plastic bags and it helps save stuff, especially like, you know, your, your family uh, pictures and, and stuff like that. We um, we have a fireproof uh, safe, and I think we've got some of like our, our pictures, like when the kids were little, like on the discs and stuff. So if there was, God forbid, ever a fire, that, those would hopefully survive. But, but yeah, um, we live on a hill. So I feel like it would have to really flood pretty bad to, to even get to our house, but. Um, I'll tell you whose cards I got. Dollar Queen Lee, what's your real name? I probably should know that, and I'm sorry that I don't. It's hard for me to remember everybody's name sometimes. Lucy. When did you send it? Thank you, Kimberly. I don't know that I've gotten one from from Lucy. I got one from uh, Felicia Smith. You sent it last week. And I got one from the Utes. I got one from Janet Beard. Oh, um, Myra, I already announced the winner. I announced it uh, earlier before going live. That one from Mary. I don't remember if I got one from you, Dollar Queen Lee. It might have already opened it. And Anna Claire's already waking up. Okay, sometimes the mail system is really slow, but um, I'll try to uh, check my P.O. box again sometime this weekend. And I need to get better since it's Christmas time. Um, the winner, 
I'm not going to pronounce her name because I cannot pronounce it, but the winner was Raylena, and it was a, ended in a T, and it was about this long, and I could not pronounce her name. How do you win stuff? Okay, uh, Kimberly, check out my Fun Friday video because my 12 Days of Christmas giveaway is already done now. But check out my, uh, it's called, I think it's called the new 411 on Fun Friday. And it should be like the first video when you go to my channel. It should be the first video you see. And uh, how to do for Fun Friday, um, I choose a winner every Friday and they get a $5 uh, gift card to Dollar Tree. And uh, I choose a random video from the week from Friday to Thursday. And um, I choose a random video and then that person, uh, then choose a winner from that. Uh, anyway, I explain it better. And Claire is starting to wake up, so I'm going to have to go get her. But, um, yeah, that'll be good. I, I love doing giveaways. Giveaways are so much fun. But anyway, I do, uh, Fun Friday is uh, $5 the first three or four Fridays of the month. Then the last Friday of the month, I've started doing Angela's uh, favorite things. And it's usually like five items or fabulous things. It might not necessarily be my favorite things. Sometimes it's hard to find things. Bye, Dollar Queen Lee. Um, but I'm going to get off of here. But yeah, check out that video and... I, I might see y'all later today. I might try to go live again later because she took a very short nap. I don't know why so short, but love y'all. Y'all have a fabulous Wednesday and I'll see y'all sometime. Love y'all. Bye.